you know, when Black Panther came out, a lot of people, you know, was happy about it. They, they went to see it. I went to see it as well. But there's a lot of people that didn't like to see it. Of course, we would know that most of them who hated it had a bad taste in their mouth with it would be the white supremacist. That's usually who it would be or someone who is, as they would say, a suspected one. But you have a director by the name of Terry Gillum. He said he hated Black Panther, not because it was bad in the area of the acting or the script or cinematography or anything like that. No, he didn't point out for that reason. He said that he hated Black Panther because he hated how it made black kids feel. The way black kids feel, first of all, you're not a black kid. You're not a parent of black people. So what are you talking about? Black kids, have you talked to black kids? Now this is his explanation. Uh, even though Black Panther was a highly successful superhero movie, they said forever that we can't have black movies because they don't make no money. And Black Panther proved that to be completely wrong. A black child could look at a hero that looks like him and it'll all look like her and enjoy the movie, okay? Just like other people have had superheroes, right? Now they said it angered him because black kids were inspired by the film. This guy, Terry Gillum said, it makes me crazy. It gives young black kids the idea that this is something to believe in. He said BS, this other BS. I think the people who made it never been to Africa. Actually, the director, Ryan Coogler, did go to the continent of Africa. And a lot of the actors did go to the continent. And Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o is from Kenya. They had other African actors and all of them made sure to go to Africa to learn of the culture. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He continues to say they went and got some stylists for some African pattern fabrics and things. He said, but I just hated that movie. He said, partly because the media were going on and on about the importance of the BS. Oh, so you jealous that black folks got some shine. You don't want black. See, the thing is y'all expose yourself. You don't want black people to have nothing. You don't want black people to, to, to get a dollar more than you. You don't want black people to get any shine more than you. You just upset and mad. You want to use black kids like you care about black kids. You don't care nothing about no black kids. Shut the hell up, man. Then he came back and said that he just wondered if that film was a politically correct move to cover identity politics. You know, you hear them talk about identity politics. That's cold speak. You know that he said, it makes my blood boil. I mean, angry, angry. It makes his blood boil. Well, shoot, I wish, I wish something would have happened to you after that. Person responded to him in a tweet about this when he looked at the interview and said, what you said about Black Panther was Trump level stupid. Is especially with your zero record of ever casting a black person in a lead role or really at all as a guard, you're old and out of touch. Another person say, how dare you say the makers of Black Panther must have never been to Africa. He said the director actually took a research trip there and ultimately it was a fictional futuristic world anyway. And it was based off of Afrofuturism. That's what it's based off of. If he actually knew what Afrofuturism is, but he don't know cause he's dumb. He's stupid. Another person said, F you, that film representing highlighted black excellence and STEM. He said another person wrote, say, I guess what you wanted a two day news cycle to show the world and remembers your crusty racist self is not dead yet. But look, get used to it, man. It's going to be more films made that showing black people with Afrofuturism. Um, trust me, your counterparts in Hollywood want to make money. So if they see black Panther making money. They're going to start making more films like it. Trust me, it's coming down the pipe. Get ready for the demographics change because that's coming too. There's nothing you can do to stop that. It's going to be a new world for you in America in the next decade. It is. Get used to it. Let your blood boil all at once. You didn't have to watch that movie. Nobody told you to watch it. Don't be blaming black kids. You're just racist. That's all. 
You don't want to see black people on, on the screen. You never put black people in your movies according to what people are saying. So it makes sense why you bad. You just mad. You mad that you didn't make the money. And black kids need to see things like that. My kids seen Black Panther. Nothing wrong with them. But yeah, this this old decrepit fool, you know, just just talking crap. And, that, and I just think it's great. I think it's awesome he's talking that way. I love when they get mad. I love it to death. Now leave me a comment, let me know what you think about the situation with this, you know, racist dude. They say it made his blood boil to see Black Panther on the screen, but get ready because they got Black Panther 2 coming, so you can get mad about that.